Hello and welcome to Resonology. Today we are going to explain one of the novel vaccine mechanism which is never used for humans before. The race for vaccine production is going on and so far we have 10 to 15 vaccine candidates under different stages of human trial. Moderna Pharmaceutical from the US is so far leading the race to introduce the first of its kind RNA based vaccine which they named mRNA1273. The concept of using mRNA as a vaccine is very fascinating and will definitely revolutionize the vaccine research in the near future. So how this mRNA can work as a vaccine, let us explain it for you. In the conventional vaccine production procedure, the virus disease causing traits are removed before they are injected into the body. When these modified viruses are introduced to the body, the immune system recognizes them as a real threat and encounter them with the B and T cells, which are the white blood cells. The T cells target the already infected cells in the body, while the B cells start production of the antibodies. Both B and T cells memorize these information in order to encounter the real virus in the future. The genome of the novel coronavirus was sequenced in January this year. Scientists then identified one of the key proteins on the surface of the coronavirus called the spike proteins. As a good vaccine candidate, spike protein is the protein which the coronavirus uses as a receptor in the human body and gain entry into the cell. It's one of the major protein against which the human body can make antibodies. The nucleic acid that code for the spike protein in the virus is then encoded into an instruction molecule a messenger RNA. The messenger RNA can then make more molecules. The mRNA molecule can be replicated many times and can be administered to the patients directly as a vaccine. The mRNA then travel throughout the body and eventually instruct many immune cells like macrophages and dendritic cells to make copies of the spike proteins. The spike protein antigen is then displayed on the cell surface of the immune cells that have taken up the mRNA molecule. The presence of the spike protein lets the immune system think that it has been infected by the real coronavirus. Immune cells then learn about spike proteins and mount an immune response against it. The trained immune cells remain in the body and can protect the person if ever come in contact with the actual coronavirus. Conventionally, the virus is usually mutated inside a chicken egg in order to make it harmless for the human. This procedure usually takes months before it is ready to be used as a vaccine. And when used as a vaccine, the weakened virus takes more time to develop immune response. So, unlike this approach, the mRNA can be produced in a weak time and there is no need for the laborious fermentation and egg hatching. Successful execution of this novel vaccination approach will definitely lead to treatment options for many other incurable diseases in the future.